What's up guys, my name is Hans Sorters. It's been a while since I've been able to skate. I went out to the old school hangar, the Ajax spot, because it's freezing cold and most of all everything's wet. It's pretty much been rainy in Belgium for the past two weeks. Just gonna set up the camera, do some like warming up. So yeah, let's just uh, let's just start with some warm-up tricks. So you know it's winter time when you go skate and you don't only bring water, but you also bring coffee. <laughs> Ooh yeah baby, give me that. This is actually the first time I'm bringing coffee to a skate sesh and it's such a good decision. Alright so, I thought maybe it'd be cool to let you guys know what I've been up to lately. Uh, pretty much it's my third year in engineering and this year I have to do my bachelor thesis. There's an airplane right now, like what the fuck is this Fortnite or something? Now most people for the bachelor thesis have to really write the thesis, like a study or whatever research. Now for me, in electromechanical engineering, we don't have to make a write a thesis, but for us we make a mechanical design. So I'll just explain what I do. I'm working for a company called Atlas Copco. It's like a 10 billion dollar company. They're world leader in making compressors. So these compressors, are, I'll put a picture right here they're like two screws most of the time they like interline and they grasp the air in between them and they press it out those two parts are called the rotors and it's really important that the air can escape between them so what do they do oftentimes they inject oil into the two rotors the oil forms like little layer in between them so the air can escape so often they also make oil free compressors and those ones have like a, a special coating like a layer of paint this layer is like super super exact so that the air can escape and it's so important that this layer is perfect that each compressor is tested at like 20 points or something right now now someone is doing that by hand and it takes a long time right now they want to automate it but to automate it, of course, you have to make a machine. And that's pretty much my task and my crew for three people. It's like Stan and Jan, who you saw in two videos ago. So it will load the rotors, it will test each one of them on specific points, and it will put them out. Yeah, there's like a lot of work that goes into making such a machine. We have to make the whole mechanical design of it. 3D drawings, 2D drawings, the whole concept. Yeah, that's why sometimes it can get busy right now because I have some deadlines in like two weeks, for example. After that, I have exams, blah, 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 blah. A lot of you guys ask me like, how do you manage to do this? Don't you get stressed out? Or, yo, I can't skate anymore because I'm going to university or college or whatever. I would just say like, 
Don't stress it. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Your studies already put enough pressure on you or your work or whatever it is in your life that is putting pressure on you right now. It's already enough, you know. You don't have to stress yourself for not being able to skate. Because, yeah, you still have to enjoy it, you know. For sure, I'm really enjoying, like, the studies right now. That project and some other projects I'm working on right now. It's really cool to do and it's something I really see myself doing in the future. And, of course, I'll keep making videos. It's just, like like what I love to do it's like passion of mine but I don't want to turn it into my job because I wanted to stay something I love to do just for that yeah that's maybe a contradiction because a lot of people nowadays all they want to do is become a successful youtuber and make money out of it become influencer but yeah fuck it man that's not what it's about you know uh, so yeah anyways that was a little rant my coffee is out, so I guess we have to go skate again. So yeah, let's go, man. Let's try some trickery. another one but only has like five percent on it so we're gonna end the video right now i hope you enjoyed the video uh, i sure had a lot of fucking fun right now just to skate again try some new stuff too at the end this is skate love this is like an extra large so it's nice and baggy you can put it over a sweater right here uh, you can check it out on inktail.com slash uh, be sure to cop some before the holidays or whatever you can all appreciate an extra hoodie or sweater send me the pictures send me some i fucking love to see them um, I'll probably share on my story or whatever. And yeah, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Pop high, stay fly, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.